All right, guys, welcome back to Just Paint Rob. Yep, painting, painting, painting. Okay, uh, somebody said, "Hey, why don't you make uh, make your zombie Elvis a bone microphone?" So there it is. If I can get it, put it, put him, put it in his hand. The bone microphone. Well, since my baby left me, because I ate her face. Okay, enough of that. Ugh. I couldn't carry a tune if it was in a wheelbarrow. All right, so next move is to find our raw umber, which is right here. Raw umber. And we're going to put a little bit of it. Got some wood chips from my bone. A couple drops of it right in here. Right in our mix tray or paint tray, whatever you want to call it. Going to put a couple drops of water in there. Want to, I like to really water this stuff down. The more it's watered down, the more time you have to... Uh, wipe it off. Yeah. A little more water. Okay. And we are using a small brush. SM all small. Small brush. Okay. So you're gonna want to have your have your paper towel ready. Okay. And I'm going to go put it right, around his belt there. Go back and wipe it off. I think this jumpsuit is just way, way too white. He's, he's a zombie, right? Zombie. Let's get the big brush. Big brush, big brush. Well, a bigger brush. It's about a quarter of an inch wide, I guess. So let's uh, dip it in there. And we're just gonna go all up in everything here. Get up in them cracks. That's where you want it. It's up in them cracks, guys. We'll see how this turns out. This may not be a good idea. We're doing it anyway, just because. Now we're going to stick with the lower half of his body here. Because um, we want to get this, take this stuff off. So, let's wipe it off. <laughs> down in that crack get that out of there up here just I just like taking them in sections okay There, now he's looking a little more dirtied up, dirty old Elvis. And if you want it, if you like it darker, go ahead and uh, put it on again. Let this let this dry that you just put on. Let it get dried up, and then go back and go over it again. If you like it bright and white, then. Don't do this at all. I like having them dirtied up a bit because he's a zombie, right? You get down in them arms. Get that stuff down in our jacket there. Yeah, some of these spots are going to be real hard to get into with your paper towel. So um, think Q-tip maybe. I don't know, maybe the Q-tip will leave a lot of fuzz behind. So 
we can take his hands off, get him out of our way. Goodbye, hands. If you want to lighten it up, just put a little water on your paper towel. A rag, whatever you're using. And you can go back. That's why you water this stuff down a lot, so you can uh, you got a little bit of time to work with it. That water is making my these are not definitely not bounty paper towels. What kind of paper towels are they? Whatever the cheapest paper towels I could get. I don't even know. See? See how that dirtied them up? Okay. Get up here around the collar and down behind there. Try to keep them that same dirty, dirty. Now, what this does is it really highlights your your dark spots, right? The spots that you want. See that? We've already gone through all of that that I had in there. Okay, I'm going to put a little water on here. Get down in there. In there. It's all about uh, making it look older than it is. Yeah. See how that it gets down into the nooks and crannies? Yep. That's what we're trying to do. They do sell a... Uh, antiquing agent. I cannot find it. I've looked all over the place. So I'm just going with the raw lumber and I water it down and it does I think it does just as good of a job. Now you can go back over this with your wood with a wood burner if you have one. Um, to darken up like the creases in the arms and that if, if you want to. There's no hard and fast rule to this. It's, uh, it's art. It's suggestive. Suggestive art. So you can basically do whatever you want to do. You don't have to do it because I do it. Pretty much all up to you how much antiquing you want or don't want. It's all up to you guys. I treat the uh, antiquing kind of like uh, you would stain. You can put it on and the longer you leave it sit, the darker it's going to get. The uh, quicker you wipe it off of course the less uh, staining action you're gonna get I'm using the end of my paintbrush to get down into the nooks and the crannies and hey don't be afraid to experiment you know it can always repaint them that's the thing, you can always go back and repaint them. If you don't like that uh, antiquing look, go back and repaint them. I, I happen to like it because uh, I like the bags under the eyes and that kind of stuff. It really brings them out. And we'll get that in, in the ears there. 
I cut some age lines in in his forehead so hopefully we can pull some of that get some of this stuff back out of there you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second I'll show you and it really tones down that uh, that blue it really does bring tones it right down so um, if you like your stuff dark you don't like a lot of bright color the antiquing process may be for you because it it basically just dirties them up it makes them look like he's older than he really is but this guy happens to be a zombie so he's supposed to be dirty and gross nasty looking so yeah you can see the water squishing out of my out of my uh, paper towel here apparently we got some blue on his pants at one time it's okay it'll all work out in the end Okay, see? See how that dirtied them up? Okay, I'm gonna twist this paper towel here a little bit, get it to a point. I'm gonna put a little water on it, and we're gonna get up there along that forehead. Get that cleaned out a little bit up there. So we we want the dirt in the crevices, but we don't want them his forehead to be totally black. Okay. Do that again. Actually, what we could do is take our paintbrush. Uh, make sure you clean it out because it's got the bristles. So might as well use them bristles to our advantage and wash some of that. We could wash some of that. Uh, raw umber back out of there. There. I'll just take this and press it in there. Okay. If your guys got a lot of creases in them like mine does for age lines and whatnot. And you want to whiten them up a little bit. Just use your paintbrush with a little water on it. Okay. See how that they got it, a lot of that uh out of the forehead area up there but it's still showing the age lines and stuff unfortunately we took the black off his eyes for his for his uh, eyebrows I think we scrubbed the, we scrubbed a little too hard guys so We will just go back and paint them back in. Yeah, we scrubbed his eyebrows right off. Huh. It's okay. There. Now I want a little more of the aging under his eyes here so I'm just taking this uh, watered down raw lumber and just putting it where I want it kind of like
like that there and you see how it's get it gets right into the uh, creases Some people don't like the antiquing, uh, some people do. I'm one of the ones that do. He's a dirty old zombie, he don't need to be clean. I figure he's been marching through the swamps and looking for brains all over the place. Should have probably uh, made his his cape thing here a little more tattered. Gave it some wearage. Put a little water on there. Wear some of that back off. See how it gets into where the uh, the carving marks are? Yeah, use your rag. It's uh, works better. A little water on there. Do a little scrub a dub a dubbing. I said it's all repaintable. It's not like it's uh I'm not getting the rag down there, so we're just gonna take our paintbrush, put some water on it. This is a pretty pretty uh stiff bristled brush, guys. So I'm sure you can go to your hobby store or Walmart or whatever and dollar store pick up a cheap uh, acid brush I bet you an acid brush from like Harbor Freight or someplace would be awesome for um, getting rid of your if you wanted to get rid of some of your antiquing because those those acid brushes are they're pretty stiff uh, it's a brush and it's kind of like formed into a metal tube. I think that looks pretty good. I think he's dirtied up enough. Get my paintbrush. Dropped it on the floor. think I think that'll do it for the uh, look at that time's up already man okay guys we'll catch you on the next one thanks for subscribing thanks for watching just carve share subscribe and like if you want to and we will get you on the next one. All right? Bye. Okay, guys, welcome back. Here they are, all painted up. Here's our little gunfighter dude.
got his two six guns in his holsters. He's ready to draw. It's our gunfighter, dude. Here's our bigger wizard. He's all done up. And in antiqued and everything. So there he is. Okay. And then our zombie. There he is. I antiqued his bone. So he is done as well. What do you think? How do you think he came out? So they're done. Um, I'll let them sit for a day or two and then I will go back and clear coat them with the... Uh, what, what do I clear coat them with? Let's see. I've been using Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. Should be enough in there to do the job. We'll get them guys cleared. Then they can go up on the shelf. In case you're counting, that is monster number two. And the third one is on his way. He's already been cut out. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time to carve him before we have to start carving that walking stick. But... Um, we also have to carve an eagle head and some cedar that I have laying around here that uh, Jordy sent us from Canada. So we've got the eagle head project, we've got another monster coming, and I've got to get that start that uh, new walking stick. So we've got a list of things to start doing, guys. Okay? So thanks for subscribing. I'm going to squeeze this in and then somewhere in between my, maybe I'll post this one for, uh, after I've got two, two, I think two or three of the painting videos that are 20 minutes each. So we'll probably get this squeezed in there in between them or at the end or something. Or maybe this will just be its whole separate video, I don't know. But yeah, so there's our three guys, they're all painted, they're ready for clear coat. And that will probably happen eh, tomorrow or Wednesday or something like that. So, we'll catch you all later.